Okay, bye. Make sure after school. Ah, uh, first day of school. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, let's see ya. There's Anna, Jonathan, Amelia, Eduardo, Alessia, Andrea's number four. They've got six dogs and they make vlogs. They're really so much fun to watch. Tune in every day to see more. I am faster than you, but you are Hello, Alessia. Oh, Thank you. what you got there? I'm there for my boo boos. <laughs> Hello, Alessia. Is there a baby behind you? Where's the baba? Where's the baba? Hmm? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're a very helpful Harry. And they, what are they for, Alessia? Alessia? What are these? Oh, look at this. Doesn't even need me. Yep. <laughs> What's the sounds? <laughs> Hello there friends and welcome to this little bit of entertainment for you. <laughs> Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. It's a way we cannot go. <laughs> Don't be trolling your sister. The best if you're like. And this is fancy. And this is fancy. We promised you a banana. We promised you a banana. Banana dance, banana dance. I wanna be in the quiet zone. I wanna be here on my own. I wanna see what I can do. Alright, more stuff has arrived look. for the LOL party. Eduardo's gonna be. Oh, look, this is Eduardo's little punk boy. Little punk boy. Oh, is this a stands? Yeah. They oh, are just, just so the good. Just pull the buggy out. We've come to get a buggy. We've come to get a buggy. Oh. Oh. Get a buggy. This is like the best part. Imagine going to a kid's party and getting this. Like, I just tidy here. But that's insane. Like, I just can't get over this. Like, the stuff that they're getting, like, Amelia's mates are so lucky. I know. You want me to take it out for you? Yeah. Okay. These are so cool, though. The little punk boy, and then who's the other one behind? I don't know any of their names. Do they come with names? They do not. Oh my goodness. We could put these on the walls of the playroom. Imagine like surrounding the playroom, you've got all this stuff. I actually have the Ciccone Jolies from the Grey Catnap tour that we have all the cutouts and what's they're down in the basement. For a friend of my own, which is the new book, um, if uh, a book tour that might happen, might happen very shortly, um, we'll have all that cutouts as well and we can put them on the walls. Like, I don't know, I think it'll be cool. But look at this. This is crazy! <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, let's get a, uh, let's get this boy boy out of here. If we keep those POS things, we can put them in the playroom. No. no. Oh my goodness! So my mom sent these uh, cardigans. She knits cardigans <laughs> for all like her grandchildren. <laughs> but like Andrea's one. I just squeeze his arms, and he was like, <laughs> well, "Let's take a picture though, so at least we've achieved it." Look, Grandma, we've worn it. You ready? Oh, you like actually like proper oh, pose for that? Knows. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Yeah, Grandma. Oh, it's so cute, though. Huh? At least it'll keep him warm for like our little outing. But I think this is probably this the one day. One and only. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He has another one. It might have a bit more give to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was the arms. I was like trying to like squeeze them in. He <laughs> has like little rolls of fat. Ah, uh, he's cute though. But it. He's not a newborn anymore, like as in he's yeah. a newborn. But um, I should have put it on him in the beginning. Unless he's still a newborn, she probably still fit in there. <laughs> one. She's wearing like you a know, six. like just forever twenty one. She's like forever newborn. She's wearing like a six month um, baby girl. <laughs> We're just back from our walk. Me and Andrea. So I'm going to take this opportunity to 
pick up some poops. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Alessia's off to school. Bye, Alessia. <laughs> you off to school? That's where she puts her nappies now. <laughs> <laughs> Carry your own nappies around. Okay? That's it. Okay, <laughs> bye. She's off to school. Aww, first day of school. Bye. <laughs> bye, Alessia. Oh, that's Francesca. <laughs> Look at this one we got for Amelia. Aww, and that's, that one's actually for Eduardo. It's from Cat Kidston. It's so nice, he just sent it this morning. What, you want this one too? Yes. Hmm? There once was a boy who was crying in his bed. He called for his daddy and he said, Father, please, <coughs> wake me up. I'd like to go downstairs and have a cup. A cup of milk for mommy's boobs. It's my favorite thing to doobs. <laughs> Come here. Oh, little man. Come here to me now. What's up? What's up? What's up? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're, doing you're, you're smiling? This is me son, me son. Fun. Oh, really? Ah. Everyone's downstairs, Eduardo. Andrea. They've been here all day. Oh my goodness. Are you guys ever going home? Ooh, what a busy day, friends. But, uh... <laughs> A green meeting had the whole team here for hours all day and then went back to the house and so much has gone on. I was just so busy job. There's so many people in the house and so much going on. But I filmed a little bit, but I ended up just chatting to everyone. But the bricks have arrived, which were doing some brick work and they're so nice, like and it's really cool because the bricks are like they're like aged or something like that. They make them like seem like they're like of period. They're all different colours, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you want to make it look like authentic. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, they've got a pad here on top. I mean, when you see it, it's all light. Yeah, you can see the kind of brown ones in there. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it looks good. You can see the black spots on them all. Yeah, yeah, because that's the thing, you don't want it to look brand new. No. Yeah. Kids would love that, make a sandcastle. See, you know the office? Uh, which we renovated and we pulled up the floor we found all that like damp and there was bits of mold and stuff well we whipped up the floor and then we decided you know what I think the best thing to do is actually we're gonna actually go ahead and replace that entire floor just in case because I'm like what if any of that mold stuff grows we've made an executive decision to just pull up the floor Ron, dig up the road mm. Mr. Bull says yeah, yeah. it's rotten isn't it yeah it wasn't like that when I came here. No. <laughs> I actually touched it. Yeah, actually touched it. Actually put you down for it. It's just it's the joystick. And it's like footmark, doesn't it? I changed mine. <laughs> mate, got some filler. Yeah. On the floor, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Got some filler for the floor, mate. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying this is the exact thing. Down and it's sat between the two. Yeah. Yeah. No, the very best thing. Take the whole thing off. Well, I'm getting so proud of it. And then we're gonna get some like this like demold spray and stuff like that. So we're just gonna like completely like strip out that room, get rid of any contaminated materials, plasterboard, do everything, decontaminate the whole room. I just think it's gonna cost a bit more money than I wanted to spend, but I think in the long run, you know, does you know there's health risks with mold and it's just gonna get worse and the spores are gonna grow. So I just think, you know, chipboard is not that expensive. You know, but we might as well do it. So uh, we're gonna whip that out, and uh, it was a good week of work. We got somewhere. We got somewhere. But now I'm back home. Back to life. Back to reality. <laughs> what are you doing under the bag of food? What the papa? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that there? <laughs> Whose shoes are they? Whose shoes are they? Whose shoes are they? Hmm? Oh! Whose shoes are they? Whose shoes are they? Yeah. 
this is so cute. <laughs> You've got everyone after the bath, Nikes. They're watching it. Was it a big blue house or something? Wonder what you are. I'm a hungry caterpillar. Now, how many pears has the caterpillar eaten? Two. Yeah, I had two pears. It was so tasty. Yum, 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 yum. I yum. don't like pears. Oh, no. Well, <gasps> oh, that's Molly. How many tart plums did the caterpillar eat? One, two, two three. Three plums. Alessia. Two. How many plums did I have? Three. Two. Two. Look, there's no hole. One, two, three. No, I've eaten three. Thank you. Oh, wait, look. There's no hole in there. One, two, three. No I haven't started you doing that one yet, okay? Now, how many strawberries? Four. 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 Oh, no. Four. Oh, no. Four. Oh, th thank you. Ah. This is... <laughs> this was coming down to now. So, I have to wait out here because the man... The wheel... Or... Hello? Hello? If that went off in the house and the dogs heard it, they would all go crazy and then they would probably wake the baby so I had to wait out here. <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, you know, when Amelia and Edward and Alessia and Andrea all grow up and are looking back and watching footage of what their parents used to get up to when they were in bed. Sorry, guys. But think about it. You can do this to your kids. All right? That's how it works. Okay? My parents probably did all sorts of sneaky things to me. And now, I get us. But we're going to have a pretzel party. We're going to have a pretzel party. <laughs> <laughs> Could you get the door, please? Charles, Charles, Charles. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Everyone. Everyone's going around about this. We're about to join in, guys. Caroline Hirons. Bodyguard. I kept thinking people were talking about that movie. I said it's Izzy. She was like, oh my goodness, check out a show called, a thing called Bodyguard. I, I was like, and Whitney was Houston? On Twitter and I was like, Kevin Costner? I was like, really? Does that, make it, does that make it a comeback? Yeah, exactly. And then people kept talking about it and I was like, wait a second. This yeah. Is so. Apparently it's kind of like spooks or something like that, but we're going to check it out. It's the bodyguard of the Home Secretary of the United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Alright. Home Secretary, if you are an American, the Home Secretary in England is like the Secretary of State in America. So it's kind of like the second most important underneath the Prime Minister. They kind of deal with a lot of internal homeland security issues. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Alright. Eat me pizza. Check it out, guys. We'll let you know. I recommend it, guys. Check it out. We watched um, three episodes of it last night, which is pretty intense for us. On a school, well, I wasn't school on a Friday night, but still. You know right, mister? You watched three episodes of it, so uh, yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Check it out. It's on BBC. It's on iPlayer. That's what we're watching it right now, but you, uh, maybe you're already watching it. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Or, I'll see you guys later today. Ho-ho! Oh,